Well, rest in peace to the cord. It li literally just blew the head gasket. We're on our way to work. Oh, fuck my life right now. What is going on, guys? Just giving y'all a little update on what is going on with all of my cars. Um, if y'all follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you already know I blew the head gasket in my cord on the way to work uh, two days ago. Sorry, I just spilled some water on my shirt. Um, prelude motor is still not done. I need to get a hard line for the drain line um, for the turbo, and then I need to um, get a another metal pipe welded up uh, with the sorry the water pipe nipple welded up because I'm not running a heater core anymore um, and then the Hummer decided to start making this clicking noise I'm pretty positive it's the pat or the driver's side or sorry passenger axle so I'm gonna go get some axles probably tomorrow from O'Reilly's and hope that fixes that noise I got some on my nose my bed um, but yeah that thing full bullets head gas so, you know I was just driving I noticed it was kind of running a little hot, and it's been doing that. And I look in my back window, and it looks like I'm shooting a smoke trail behind me, like, big time. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so I was like, whatever, let me see if I can keep going, you know, because I don't really care about that car, let's be honest. I do, but I don't. Uh, so sorry, Accord guys that follow my page. Uh, I'm a pretty good guy through and through. The cords are cool, don't get me wrong. I can't say I hate it, obviously. I've spent money on it, and I, I've gotten to the state where it was. I bought a $400 car, what do I expect? But... Things been unreliable shit to me, whether it was previous owner experience or whatever, um, and that's what I'm gonna <laughs> to blame it on. I really think what it was when I got the car, I did a lot of coolant flushes to it because it was like thick and brown and sludgy in there, and I even changed out the radiator and the thermostat and stuff and really cleaned out the cooling system. So I believe I unclogged something that shouldn't have been unclogged, and that's what was causing it to to do that. Cause I even went through two sets of spark plugs in the short time I've owned that car. I think I've only owned the car for like five, maybe six months now. Um, and yeah, so, so that happened, so, anyway, I kept driving a little bit, and then the needle went from here to just, it pegged out, like, it wasn't a slow creep up, it just pegged out the hot, so I shut the car off and coasted off the beltway, which is like a highway here that we pay for, and, um, and yeah, so I just coasted off into a gas station, and had a tow truck from the tow truck company tow it home, it didn't shut off on me, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to start it up right now, it'd still start up. But, um, yeah, I'm done, I'm done with this single cam. This is my first single cam Honda to own, and I have nothing good to say about it. No power, no reliability. Honestly, the same gas mileage I was getting with my full bolt on H22. Um, I get it, this is a four-door Accord. It weighs a little bit more than a Prelude does. Um, but still, it's just, the economy rating's not there. Mind you, in my Prelude, I do have the same transmission, uh, which is the P2A8. Um, as the cord does so uh, has the really long gears or just cruising gear so maybe that has something to attribute with well, well I know that's why it attributes to the gas module I got in Hercules plus I had a 12 pound flywheel in him um, but yeah so I'll honestly end up H22 swapping my cord so follow me along for that ride this will be my first time um, swapping motors in a Honda for me personally I've put you know like Preludes, I, yeah, I put H22s in them all day, but this will be my first time putting a motor that didn't come factory in that chassis. Yes, they came with V6s and some of them, um, and the S-Series block is so similar to them. I believe it's just a direct drop-in from the F23, because the F23 blocks are damn near identical to the, F22, or the H22s. Besides a few, I think the front mount doesn't work or some shit like that. But I'll figure all that out when I get in there. And obviously, I know I'm going to need something to run my from my actual harness to the distributor, like a little jumper harness, probably from rewire or whatever. Um, but I think that's going to be the most difficult thing. And then obviously just some P28 ECU. I'll probably just do a cheap chip. Everyone knows Hercules runs on Honda, and I'm keeping that Honda chip with Hercules. I don't want to move that to the Accord. Um, but the Accord will be getting Hercules old motor. I will not be putting the Stage 3 cams I had from Hercules in the Accord. Uh, as of yet, I might, I haven't decided yet. I do have a pair of OEM USDM spec cams that came from Hercules originally when I did the upgrade to the Stage 3 cams. Um, but I'll probably end up putting my ported and polished head in her, in the cord uh, as long as my gutted intake manifold and a few goodies. Nothing crazy, but it's just going to be a basic refresh. Piston rings, maybe bearings if it needs it. 
if it doesn't need bearings, I'm just going to re-grease everything and I'm going to send it. I'm also going to do a um, balance shaft delete. Hercules never had a, a legit balance shaft delete on his old motor. He just had the belt taken off. So uh, what I'll do is I'll do a, a legit delete. And I actually tore down the motor yesterday to see because he lost compression uh, via flooding from gasoline. And I think it was just because it was too wet because it's not a good consistency, you know, gasoline versus oil. Uh, but the cylinder walls look pretty fresh in here, so I, I think I can get away with just new rings and call it a day with that. So I'm going to flip it around and show you what I got going. Took the head off, took the, the water or the oil pump off, took the pan off. I did all this on the ground yesterday, you know. Doesn't look too terrible bad. Uh, obviously, I cleaned those pistons off. They were pretty gummed up. Um, you know, Hercules was just on a stock block, but a built head. Uh... So yeah, I took out the balance shafts and stuff yesterday, I think. Actually, I'm over here on the ground. Yeah, just chilling there. I forgot how heavy those fucking things were. There's the head right there. So, I got a little bit of a ways. Tomorrow, if the Harbor Freight is open near me, I'll be going to get another engine stand so I can get that block up off the ground and really start to dig into it more. But, the cylinder walls honestly don't look bad. I don't feel anything catching with my nails besides, you know, dirt and grime. Um... So I'll be interested to see what they look like once I get the pistons out of there. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be the motor that goes into the Accord. And the Accord will also, at that same time, since I got to take it all out, it'll be getting Hercules um, action clutch, stage 3 clutch over here. Oh, shit, there it is right there. That one has about a year of time on it, so it should have plenty of life left. That's the stage 5 for Hercules, which I didn't go with the twin disc um, for money reasons at the time. And I think the stage five will hold the power level I'm gonna be at while well, the break in for the motor. I might eventually upgrade to a twin disc, but we'll see how the stage five handles up from action clutch. This is what they recommended for the horsepower goals I'm going for, which is like five six hundred. They're thinking it can hold up, so we'll see. You know, only time will tell and and whatnot. But I gotta figure out the Hummer. I'm praying it's an axle. I'm pretty positive it is, but I'll only know when I get under there and try some stuff out. Yeah, so the cord's getting H swap, so that's gonna be exciting because they literally gain like 60 horsepower right out the gate. And of course, my daughter's always. Okay. So, yeah, guys, so join me on this journey. It's gonna be a very interesting journey. I'm gonna try to do it within a reasonable time because I do need a daily back. Um, hope I can fix the Hummer or maybe I can drive that, but I really don't want to daily the Hummer like that. I, I don't like to. It's a bigger vehicle and it can be quite expensive to fix. Um, and normally I just like to leave it here for emergencies in case my wife, because it is my only automatic car. The other two dr cars in the driveway, one is my mother-in-law's, and that's her boyfriend's car, or truck, I should say. So I have the two Hondas. My wife's is the Hummer, and then, yeah. So I really... I need to step up my game because I got two cars and neither of them run. <laughs> well, I guess my cord would run, but, you know, it, it won't get me far. It'll probably get me to the gas station and back, and that's about it. Um, so, yeah, so if anybody's on an H swap, hit me up. Let me know uh, any tips, tricks, things that I'm leaving out. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I got it covered of what I'll need, but I appreciate any help or knowledge that comes my way. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe. I love y'all, and uh, just thought I'd give you an update. Take it easy, guys.